What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Chris and here we explore products, places, and things that help us live a more enjoyable life. Today we're gonna run through the S-Works Athos Dream Build. I'm thrilled about this. I've been trying to get my hands on an Athos for several months now and I finally did. The Athos came out late last summer, shortly after the Tarmac. And I think because everyone was so excited about the Tarmac and there was so much buzz and hype and press about the Tarmac, the Athos went fairly unnoticed. And in many ways, it was kind of a confusing bike. It didn't follow the traditional like arrow is everything trend that Specialized had been pushing for so long. In many ways, it looks like a throwback to the Tarmac SL4. And I think a lot of people mistakenly wrote it off, myself included. When you look at the bike, it looks like it's a few years old. It has a sloped top tube that's maybe not that appealing. It has exposed cables, which I haven't had a bike with exposed cables since my first generation Venge, and it just doesn't fit the norm of all the bikes that we're seeing these days. My understanding of the Athos project is that it started with this small group of engineers who wanted to build a bike that put ride quality and functionality first, and not so much a bike that catered to the needs of a pro tour rider or someone who's racing every weekend. And my understanding is that a lot of these engineers never thought that this bike would see the light of day. But now we have it, it's the Athos. Specialized claims it's the lightest production bike ever coming in at right around 13 pounds. Every review that I've read says it has incredible ride quality and many rated it as the top bike of 2021. Even with all of that, the bike really didn't intrigue me. It wasn't until the Crux came out that I started to take a hard look at the Athos. You've gotta understand, I'm someone who is firmly in the camp of Aero is everything, or at least I was. My pedigree of bikes goes from the first generation Venge to the second generation Venge, or the Venge Bias, to the Venge Disc, and now to the Tarmac SL7. So when I started looking at the Athos, in many ways I felt like I was having literally a midlife crisis. Step one of the build was to ditch the Reval Alpinist CLX wheels. Now this is nothing against the build that Specialized put together or Reval wheels. In fact, I really like Reval wheels. I've had a set of the CLX 64s on my Venge Vias, my third generation Venge, and now on my Tarmac SL7, and I really like the wheels. I put tens of thousands of miles on them and they've been fast, reliable, they're just totally bulletproof. My issue with the Reval Alpinist CLXs is that, number one, they're just not tubeless compatible. And number two, for the style of riding that I do, they're just not really my style. I will take the weight penalty in exchange for a deeper set of wheels. So for this Athos build, I decided to go with a set of the NV45 ARs. Now this has the traditional alloy hub, nothing fancy, no Chris King, no ceramic bearings, but I am going to swap out the bearings for a set of ceramic speed coated bearings, and I'll let you know how those bearings are in due time. But I'm really excited about this wheel set. I suppose step 1.5 of this build would be the tire swap. Now the Athos came with, of course, super, super light tires, so it came with 26 millimeter uh, specialized S-Works Turbo Cotton Tires, I believe they're called. I've ridden these tires before. They're really, really fast, but in my opinion, they're just not very reliable. So I swapped them for a set of 32 millimeter Goodyear Eagle F1 Super Sports. And I really like those tires. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I rode the 28 millimeter version for thousands of miles earlier this year, and I really like them. My preferred tire would be the GP5000 tubeless in either 30 or 32 millimeter, but those are really hard to get right now and the prices are just way too high. So I went with the set of the Goodyears. Step two of the build was to swap the stems. The original Athos build had the S-Works SL stem in 100 millimeter. I needed a 120 millimeter stem. On my Tarmac, I had a 120 millimeter Venge stem. And if you saw some of the early photos of the Athos, I had a 100 millimeter Tarmac stem. So I just swapped stems between the bike. So now the Athos has a 120 millimeter Venge stem on it. And I absolutely love that stem. It's a stem that I've had since my third generation Venge, then onto my Tarmac and now onto the Athos. And it's big, it's bulky, but it's also really, really stiff and I love the look of it. And for those of you who are keeping track of weight, it's about a quarter pound heavier than the original SL stem that was specced from Specialized. So we've got an extra quarter pound in the stem and three quarter pounds in the wheel set for those who are keeping track. Step three of the build was to swap crank sets with the Crux. The Athos originally came with a 4835 with 172 and a half millimeter crank arms. The Crux had a 5037 with 170s on it. 
So I just swapped crank sets and crank arms between the two bikes. The 5037 is much better suited for road, and I think the 4835 is a really good match for the Crux. So having the 5037 on the Athos, first ride impressions, it feels great, I love it. I feel right at home with that. Step four of the build was to swap saddles. Now the Athos came with an S-Works Power Carbon Saddle, and I think that's a great saddle. I've used it in the past, but I've found over the years that I like a saddle that has a little bit more real estate, something that I can kind of move forwards and backwards on depending on what I'm riding. So I swapped the Power Saddle for the Pro Stealth Carbon Saddle, and I've been really pleased with it so far. The weight difference is about 12 grams, so the Power Saddle is 12 grams lighter than the Pro Stealth Saddle. So that's the Athos build. And now the question is, how does the Athos compare to the Crux? And that is the million dollar question. Stay tuned for that one. I'm as anxious as you are to find out how these two bikes compare. Thanks so much for watching. Get out there, have fun.